Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about admission uh, notification of CENS. Now, if you have watched my previous videos where I have discussed about various institutes which take admission based upon your gate rank and where you can apply without getting JRS. So there I have mentioned about CENS. This is a autonomous institute which is basically funded by Department of Science and Technology called as DST and the full form of CNS is Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. So this is a institute which is specifically which focuses on nano sciences and on material sciences and soft matter basically. So if you are interested in this topic like if you are someone who is looking forward for a particular institute or you want to do your research in the field of nanochemistry or in the field of nano sciences or in the field of material sciences then this is one of the institute where you can apply for and this particular institute is going to be a specialized institute in this particular field. So I will be talking about everything which will be needed uh, to apply for this all the eligibility and all the things we will be discussed in this particular video. So do make sure that you watch this video till end. Also please if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing this and now we will talk about the admission process the notification in detail so stay tuned for the video. All right, so this is the PhD program page. I'll give you a link to reach out to this particular page. The link will be direct in the description of this video. So you can directly come up to this particular page. Now here you can see that the PhD program is shown over here. Center for is recognized for uh, by the Mangalore University and Mahipal University for higher education. The student who enroll for PhD at the center obtain their degree awarded by Mangalore University. Okay, so that's the thing which you are going to get if you enroll uh, for the PhD program. Now applications are called for PhD program generally during okay all these things are there but you don't have to worry about all these things. You basically have to come a little lower over here and you have to go for the PhD admission poster. Once you click on this particular link you will be able to download a poster which looks something like this okay. So this is the detailed poster you can say. So center for nano and soft matter sciences. Uh, PhD program 2022 PhD program uh, like notification is there one thing which is very evident over here is that the last date to apply for this is 31st of May so in case if you are willing for it please do make sure that you apply before 31st of May all the basic informations are given that uh, applications are invited for the motivated candidates for the admission of PhD in 2022 program as a JRF candidate and in this case it's also written that candidate will be provided a fellowship and can also avail the hostel facility. They are encouraged to participate in national and international workshops, expos, symposia and conferences. So basically they are trying to tell about their institute because uh, these are institutes which are not much older but they are very recognized ones because they are specific in a particular field, right? So that's why they are, that particular thing makes these institute very special. And that's why they are basically telling that what what are the other things which you can do beside doing PhD like while doing PhD in this particular institute. So area of research let's first of all look upon. So area of research goes as energy and environment. Okay, I'll just zoom this up a little bit. Yeah. So you have energy and environment. So all the topics are over here. Then nanomaterials, uh, large scale synthesis of near ambient con uh, conditions and all. Then meta materials. So these are broad area of research. So energy and environment nanomaterials, metamaterials, soft matter or liquid crystals, then healthcare and surface interfaces. So these are the broad uh, research topics. Under them, these are the different topics where the research is being carried out over there. And if you want to look for the more details of it, then you have to go to the faculty web page. There you will be able to see that which faculty is taking or doing research in what exactly field. And you will be also able to see a specific topic related like what specific topic they are doing research in, right? So for that, you have to go for the faculty page to look upon. Okay, now you must be wondering about the essential qualifications. So qualification is something or you can say eligibility is something which we should all focus much on. So the qualification which they require is MSc or MTech in Physics, Chemistry, Material Sciences, Nano Sciences and elite subjects from the recognized institute. So if you have done MSc uh, in let's say physics or chemistry because this channel resonates with chemistry students. So if you have done MSc in chemistry with at least 60% aggregate marks for the general category students and 55% uh, for SCST candidates. So 
for general and obc candidates both for both of them 60% marks is required this particular thing is something uh, which is like you know additional thing which they want so apart from having msc with 60% you should also have qualified either jrf uh, csi or ugc net jrf or you have qualified gate or you should have inspire fellow so even if you have just qualified gate exam you don't have csi jrf then also you can apply for it if you have jrf then of course you can apply for it and if you are have an inspire fellowship or if you are an inspire fellow in that case also you can apply for this particular case and uh, in case if you are wondering that what gate rank i will be having so that i'll be able to apply for this so if you have just qualified gate you are eligible to apply generally uh, they, you will get the call for interview depending upon your performance in the interview it will be like that is going to decide so if your rank is somewhere around 2000 or something then also you can apply for this particular institute okay so if you have just qualified gate you can go for this okay specialization in condensed matter physics electronics uh, material science organic inorganic physical or general chemistry at the master's level is preferred so if you have a specialization in a particular thing like uh, if you are a chemistry student you must be having a specialization either in organic inorganic or physical chemistry or in general chemistry so anything if you have done means in msc if you have even general chemistry then also you will be preferred if you have organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry then also you will be preferred for that okay now students who have appeared for the final year examination and expect to obtain their result before 31st july may also apply so in case if you are in the final year you have given exam and you don't have the results yet but you are expecting your result to be uh, uploaded or your result to be uh, declared before 31st of july in that case also you can apply for this particular course uh, the last say is that shortlisted applicants will be called for an interview at cens during the last week of june so the interviews as of now it is declared that it will be offline you will be called for the interview it depends on the time maybe it can be converted into online interview so it, you don't never know but yeah you will be called for the interview to cens and that is in uh, bangalore and uh, in the last week of june okay so that's the time when you will be facing the interview so once you have to apply then wait for that they will give a list of uh, uh, selected candidate who will be called for interview once you will be giving interview after that if you perform well in the interview then the final selection will be made one more thing is there the sponsored candidates from recognized r and d organization academic institute government organization as well as from industries are encouraged to join the phd program at the cns on the full time basis so what are uh, like sponsored candidates so let me tell you it is over here so sponsored candidates are the the center also encourages the motivated candidate from recognized r and d organization academic institute government organization as well as from industries to join phd program uh, on the full time basis he she must be a regular employee of the sponsoring uh, organization so sponsored candidates means if you are already doing a job somewhere okay in that case you can apply to this particular institute right so if you let's say if you are doing job and you need a phd or you want to do phd along with that in that case you can apply for that you need a no objection uh, no objection certificate from your institute uh, from your organization or institute also it's mentioned that uh, uh, he, uh, must be a regular employee of the sponsoring organization and need not necessarily be qualified in the national eligibility test so it's not required that you have to qualify net in case if you are employee at a particular organization and you want to do phd in that case you just need a no objection certificate and you have to apply as a sponsored candidate so remember that sponsored candidates will not get any fellowship from the institute right so that's what makes them a sponsored candidate all right so enough being said about the the eligibility criteria and the form itself let's look upon that how you can apply so again on the same page where uh, you were having all these thing in the downside you have this click here to apply right so once you click on this you will be taken to a page where you can fill your uh, like all the information and you can apply for that so this will be the page now remember that when you are applying uh, you should have all these documents in the jpg file okay so you should have your photograph you, you should have all education related documents uh, they should be scanned or photo in the form of landscape mode and you should have a referee detail now what is referee Let, that i will tell you so basically you have to fill all the basic details your name your gender your photograph your address your permanent address then comes your uh, qualifying degree then the uh, date and place of birth then comes your area of interest now here in area of interest you have to mention it according to uh, the list which were there right on the in the um, like in this you have these these are the area of interest so you have to look upon these as the area of interest right so you have to fill over there then comes are you a sponsored candidate means uh, i already told you what is a sponsored candidate so if you are that 
you can apply for that and if you have applied for any program before uh, this center then also you can mention over here right fine uh, coming here here it is to fill the name and the address of refer uh, referees there are two referees which are uh, required uh, so you should have two referees so what are referees basically so if you are a student of a particular institute uh, you need two people two people who are already recognized in the scientific community they may be a supervisor they may be some assistant professor someone who is already there in the scientific community he will act as a referee for you he or she you have to take permission from them you have to tell them that you are putting their name as a referee over here you have to give their name their uh, address means their office address their email address and their mobile number so all these things you have to fill over here and you have to also mention that whether you have informed the referee or not so this will just make uh, cns sure that you are coming through particular person right so this will be of course that will be very easy for you if you are a student at a particular institute let's say if you have already done your masters and you have taken one year gap now what do you have to do so you can go back to your institute you can ask your professors you must be having uh, you know um, connections with one or two uh, professors so you can ask them they will act as a referee for you right so make sure that you inform that's a good uh, gesture uh, if you don't uh, like if you don't have any other choice you can give the name of two professors and you can mention that you have not informed the referees okay but uh, i will recommend you that you should inform the referee while giving their name because this thing is you know this is appreciated coming back uh, like down a little bit these are the informations required for your uh, basic studies like your senior secondary uh, school and then your bsc first year and second year and then if you have msc then you have to click msc over here then uh, whether you have grade system or semester system you have to select based upon that you have to fill all the information do you have done mphil and all so you can leave this part if you have done it's fine additional information if there is any you can leave uh, you can put it or you can leave this thing blank and at the end you have declaration where you have to basically fill your, the captcha code you have to just submit the form so this is how you will be able to fill the form you have you will be able to submit the form it's very easy uh, just make sure that the referee part should be done okay so that is mandatory you have to fill the details of the referee so these were the information which i wanted to give and if you are interested in this particular field it's a very good institute you can apply for this you can go for this and you can pursue your research in the field of nano and soft matter science that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.